Hi, I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is your full body, yummy morning stretch routine. It's going to stretch you from head to toe. It's a perfect way to either start or end your day. We're gonna set an intention and end with a beautiful meditation. You don't need any equipment. This is great for all levels. Let's get started. All right, so let's start here on our mats, seated. And close your eyes. Just take a few moments here to breathe and connect to your body. Setting an intention for your class. And I know sometimes slowing down can feel challenging. I know for me, I'm always go, go, go. So these slow types of movements really, really challenge my body and mind. So just set an intention for your class today and for the rest of your day. And then take the arms up overhead, inhale in. Exhale, seal that intention in towards your heart, bring your thumbs into your heart. And I like to use this as a little reminder to lift my chest up, to always stay tall and proud and confident because I deserve that and you deserve that. Nice, blink the eyes open, reach the arms out to the side, and let's take a nice little side bend, reach over to the side, and go to the other side. Beautiful, keep going just like that, side to side, feeling the side body stretch, feeling the low back stretch, and release. Nice, so then let's come on over into a child's pose. My knees are nice and wide, and we're gonna roll forward into a lazy upward dog, just like this. Inhale in, ah, and exhale, rolling through one vertebrae at a time, so rolling all the way through. And exhale. And now come on up and let's do our thoracic spine stretch. One of my favorites, lift on up through the left side. Exhale, thread it all the way through. Keep the hips up high, press the right hand into the floor to twist a little bit deeper. Really nice. And reach up, place the hand down, let's switch sides, inhale in. Exhale, thread it through. and breathe. Inhale in, reach up. Exhale, place the hands down. Good, tuck the toes under and just press those heels back on to the balls of your toes, stretching out underneath the feet. And then come all the way up into your downward dog. Just pedal out the feet. And here, let's take the feet wide. Good, so press down into the finger pads. Externally rotate the shoulders. Good, and we're gonna take the right hand and we're gonna twist and reach for our left calf. Try to look up underneath your left armpit, maybe up towards the sky. I see some beautiful clouds above me. Nice, beautiful, sunny day here in Hermosa Beach. Good, let's switch sides. Definitely getting a lot of vitamin D. And place the hand down. Good, and then just walk the hands back towards your feet. Keep the knees bent right here and grab onto opposite elbows and just allow yourself to fall side to side. This one's really good. Just feel like a pendulum swinging, releasing the low back. This one is so, so yummy. I love doing these kinds of stretches to end the day with because it just feels like there's so much that goes on in the day and if we just connect with our bodies, everything just seems to be okay, right? There's this knowing, this inner knowing that when we connect and ground to the universe, to source, whatever you call it, there's this peace, this inner peace that's within us and we know that everything is gonna be okay. There's never anything to be fearful or anxious of. Good, let's lift the right leg up. Let's take a bend in the right knee, open up the hip, 
feels so good. Stretch out the inner thighs. And just make it organic. Good, and then switch sides. Lift the left leg up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Try not to take any tension in your shoulders. If you feel that, then back off on the legs and just bend the legs a little bit. Ah, feels so good. All right, we're gonna step the right foot forward into a nice low lunge here. Good. Now right away, we're gonna take it all the way back to a nice half splits pose. And then we're gonna go forward and back just like this, three times. Pushing forward, three, and back, and two. And back, nice job. Now come forward, hold this low lunge here. And if you wanna take the stretch a little bit deeper, bring your hands to the heart center, place your elbow onto your knee, and take a little twist right here. This is really good for opening up the thoracic spine. You're gonna feel a deep stretch in the hip flexors, in the quad. Nice, and then place the left hand down. Reach the right arm up and lift the back knee up off of the floor. Hold here. Place the right hand down and then step it back into downward dog. Good, and then on your next inhale, step the right, left foot forward, lower down into your low lunge. Hold here. And breathe. Just take a quick scan around the body, see if there's any place that you're holding tension. And rock it back. And forward. Hold this low lunge, or you can join me in a twist. So lift on up, take the elbow over the knee, press the palms together and take a nice twist. This is great for stretching out that low back that gets so much compression and pressure. So keep pressing into the knee, lift up through the spine, reach out through the crown of the head, lengthen out through the toes. Really nice and release. Place the right hand down, tuck the back toe under, twist and look up. Good, place the left hand down. And this time we're gonna step all the way up to the top of the mat, coming into a forward fold and hold here. Shake out the head, yes. Just let it go. All the work is done. You just get to release and relax. Good, now place the hands down and just heel toe the legs out to a nice little yogi squat here. Good. Now we're gonna take the right hand, we're gonna reach it to the side of us as we twist and look up. And then alternating sides, good. Lift. And reach. Really good for the inner thighs, the low back, the hips of course, getting that nice external hip rotation. And also the calves and feet, lots of good stuff stretching here. Nice, bring the hands back here and then press back up into a nice forward fold again and bring the feet together. Now we're gonna step our left foot back behind us, 
and we're gonna hold here in our pyramid pose. But we're gonna make it a little bit more active. So we're gonna rock forward and then we're gonna rock back. Notice how I keep my hips square and I pull my toes back towards my shin. And then I rock forward and back three times like that. Nice, and then spread those legs out a little bit more and we're gonna rise up into a warrior one. So make sure that the toe is at a 45 degree angle. We're at a nice warrior one here. Feel the front of that thigh bone stretching. Reach the arms up overhead and open up the arms, expand the wings up, reach up, nice. Three and two and one. Good, circle the arms behind you, clasp them, lift the heart and chest up and fold forward over that front leg. Let the arms reach up over the head. Really nice, stay firm in the legs. A little heat rising here. Make sure that that front hip doesn't shoot out, pull it in and roll on up. Nice work. Straighten that front leg. Now we're gonna turn over so that the hips are facing forward. Reach the arm to the side and let's take our triangle pose here. Opening up the inner thigh, the legs, even twisting through the spine. Yoga offers so many different positions that we don't normally move into every day. That's why it is so powerful and it can really do wonders for your body. Whether you're using this as a recovery or just cooling down at the end of your day or to wake up, it's a nice way to wake up as well and mobilize your whole body. Good, and then roll forward. Let's step it back up to the top of the mat again. Bend the knees slightly, clasp the hands over the head, and let's take that shoulder stretch again here. Uh, really making sure that you're being careful here. So I recommend keeping the knees bent as you let the hands fall over. And then when you're ready, you can begin to straighten the legs. And release. Good, now step the right foot back. And let's take our rocks again. So we're gonna rock it forward and back three times. Flexing the foot, pulling the toe back towards your shin for three. And two. And one. Nice, and then take the legs a little wider, find your Warrior one, rise on up. Feel that front hip flexor stretching. Take in the beautiful scenery, pretend you're here with me at the beach. Just letting the waves relax you. Reach your arms up and open three times, three, Two, one, and circle the arms. Lift the head and chest up, fold forward over the leg. Let the hands fall over the head. And rise on up. Straighten the front leg, maybe narrow the stance a bit. Turn so that you're hips are square to the side. Reach the arms and reach forward into a triangle pose. And then windmill the hands over. Step forward back into your forward fold here. And this time we're gonna turn to the side. 
and just step your feet out into a nice wide position here. So we're gonna alternate right here, knees bent, open up the inner thighs. This one feels really, really good. Those hips can get so tight and they can hold a lot of tension. So this is going to help ease all of that. All right, so let's lean all the way down into our surfer's lunge or skandhasana on the left side here. And do what you can. If your hands are up here, that's okay. You just wanna make sure that the bottom heel is down and you're going to gently ease your way down one at a time. Ah, feels so good, right? Especially if you do a lot of running. I love running outside and I can definitely feel, I run out here on the sand all the time and I can feel that my legs are a little bit tighter for sure right now. So these are the stretches that I do to keep my hips, quads, inner thighs, everything nice and mobile. Just feel into your body. Nice job. All right, let's come around. Let's bring the legs forward in front of us. Let's take a nice, easy forward fold. Lift on up, inhale, exhale, fold all the way down. And just relax here. Scan your body and see if there's any place that's still holding on to tension. Sometimes we hold on to tension just out of habit or as protection. So just remind yourself that you're okay. It's safe to let go. Good, and then lift on up. Let's take the feet all the way together. I love this one. And then just reach the arms forward and open yourself up. Just relax over the legs, over the feet. And then slowly come on up. Let's roll over onto our stomachs to stretch out our chest a little bit more. So we're gonna reach our hands behind us just like we did when we were standing. Clasp the hands and lift on up. Really open up the chest and shoulders. Reach for the toes. Nice and then let go of the clasp if you can. And then bring one foot in and then the other foot in. Nice, all right. So you may need to just hold here. This might be enough of a stretch for you. Just remember to continue to squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then you're just gonna kick the feet into the hands. Keep it really simple. Just kick the feet into the hands and then the feet really lift the chest up and up and up. Good, keep kicking into the feet. Beautiful, keep lifting and slowly lower down. Nice job. And then tuck the toes under and press back into a child's pose. Take a deep breath in. We'd be doing a lot of deep stretching. Sometimes a lot of things can come up. But just reconnect to your intention right now. Good, and then roll on up. So we're gonna come into a camel stretch. This is one of my favorite ones. So you may need to tuck the toes under. That's a great place to start. You're gonna place the hands on your hips, fingertips face down, lift up through the chest. So just start here. This is your first step. Then if you wanna go a little bit more, you can reach back for the heels. And then if you want a little bit more, then you can let go of the feet there and release the head all the way back. And then carefully come up the same way you came down. 
Take a little breather. We'll do that again. Cause it can be really intense. Another great way is to put blocks here so you can just place your hands on the blocks. Okay, let's do that again. Come on up. Start with the toes tucked under, place the hands on the back here, fingertips face down, lift the chest up and start here by lifting the heart up, lift, 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 like someone's got a string and they're pulling you up, 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 up. And then you begin to bend from the upper back, not from the lower back, but from the upper back. Lift up, keep puffing your chest up, puff it up, up, up. And then slowly release. Good, now let's come down onto our backs. Ah, you're doing amazing. Come on to your back here. And we're gonna take a bridge pose. Squeeze the shoulder blades underneath and then clasp the hands. See if you can clasp the hands and then squeeze the shoulder blades even more. I want you to again, think of puffing up the chest as opposed to the low back. I want you to soften through the low back Squeeze through the lower, um, the lower glutes here and tuck the pelvis slightly under. Good. Keep the knees hugging in towards each other. Nice big deep breaths and release. Now I'm gonna do wheel, but if you would like to do, I would say if you've never done wheel before, just do the bridge again, okay? Otherwise I'm gonna go into wheel where the fingertips are gonna face back towards my shoulders. First, get up onto the crown of your head. Feet are parallel to one another. And then from there, you can press up into a wheel pose. All right. Carefully and easily, allowing the body to open. Nice big inhale in. Exhale, bring the knees closer together. They tend to draw out and then slowly come down. Nice job. All right, we're gonna stay here on our backs. Pull the knee in towards your chest and let's take a figure four stretch. Heel is gonna come over the knee. So this is a great sequence of stretches that really just goes through the entire body. So effective. So this is a great type of class to bring into your daily routine to make sure that all your joints are nice and mobile. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Soften the shoulders. I always think of stretching like this as like, we're going in like as if we were Tin Man and we're just putting little oil in all of our joints. Because you create synovial fluid, that's what we need. We need that fluid, right, to keep it nice and mobile. And when it's mobile, you don't feel that pain because we get new blood flow, we get new oxygen, we get movement through there. And when there's a lack of movement, that's when pain comes in. All right, so now we're gonna cross the legs just like this, and we're gonna shift over into a nice uh, spinal twist. Feels so, so, so good. More shoulder opening here, more chest opening. And if it's too much with the cross, then just uncross and just do one knee out and the bottom leg straight. I just like to do the cross because it deepens the stretch for me. Good, and let's switch sides. So you're gonna take the cross and then go over, oh, release the low back. Letting any last bit of tension go. and then come back to the center and do any last stretch that you would like to do here. I'm gonna do a plow pose. I love this one. Taking the legs up and over, keeping the head straight. And then I like to clasp my hands, squeeze the shoulder blades underneath me. This one feels so good. And 
and slowly come all the way down for our final pose here, Shavasana. Breathe, just know that these last couple of minutes together have been so incredibly powerful. Allowing your body the space to heal, to recover, honoring your body's intelligence and reminding yourself that you're so worthy of showing up and taking time for yourself. And then bring your hand to your heart and your other hand to your belly and just remind yourself of your intention. And just see yourself living your day, whether that's the rest of today or tomorrow, living your day with this intention of what that looks like, how you move through life differently, how people notice the change in you, and just allow that intention to come into life, to come into fruition, and see it in your life now. Take one more big deep breath in to seal that in. and reach the arms up overhead. Slowly roll on up to close out class. And bring your hands to heart center to honor yourself. Remember the thumb into the heart. It's just that little reminder to always stay proud, tall and confident. Bow your head down towards your body as a symbol of gratitude to your beautiful, amazing, intelligent body. And thank yourself for showing up today. Namaste. I'm so proud of you for showing up today. I know that can be the hardest part. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Comment down below. I really love connecting with you there and I will see you in the next video. Love you so much. Bye.